Soon the Supreme Court is expected to hand down a ruling on homelessness. The case involves cities cracking down on letting people sleep outside in public. The decision from the justices will have a big impact on Hampton Roads. New tonight, Raven Payne talked with local advocates and shelter managers. As the price of housing increases, more people across the country are ending up on the street. According to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, more than 650,000 people are experiencing homelessness. But depending on a pending Supreme Court decision, those same people could be punished for having nowhere else to go. Can people be punished for not having a home? It's a question the Supreme Court is trying to answer. It all stems from a small town in Oregon that's been giving people fines for sleeping outside in public areas. The city behind the case argues they want to keep public spaces open and safe for everyone. If the Supreme Court sides with the city, nonprofits working to resolve the homelessness crisis say things will only get worse. For kids Chief Operating Officer Sarah Johnson tells me criminalizing homelessness isn't the answer. The first thing that comes to mind is that's not really a solution. Um, that would add and exacerbate the problem that folks are facing um, when there's not shelter resources available um, and would potentially create additional barriers for them to get housed in the future. Johnson says living on the streets is already a traumatizing experience, describing how detrimental it could be for a family if they were punished for struggling. For kids specifically, we work with families with children, so you can only imagine um, the trauma and um, just fear and everything that's going on um, with a family that really is doing everything they can, might even be working. She tells me they receive over 60,000 calls every year from people looking for shelters and housing. She says it's not a problem of people being complacent with their situation. It's an issue of finding somewhere they can live. The current affordable housing crisis means that lots of folks cannot um, find a place. She says the crisis can't be fixed overnight, saying there is no one solution. It's not housing only, and so that means that folks need services, they need mental health support, they need case management, they need all those services to help them stabilize and stay where they're at so folks aren't cycling back through the system. And Johnson says the community can also help by donating to organizations like 4Kids or not opposing an affordable housing project going up near their neighborhood. The Supreme Court is projected to have a decision on this by the end of June. Raven Payne, it's on your side.